Shazam! Yeah! Okay, I'm standing now with Rob Sitch, who against all odds, he's carving out a name for himself as one of this country's leading stuntmen. Rob, where are we now? Stunt headquarters, Tommy. This is where all the planning takes place. This is the brain's trust of the stunt empire. And what have you got planned for us this week? Tommy, I'm going to jump a stunt cycle, a motorcycle for stuntmen, <laughs> up a ramp, 100 metres, blindfolded. Sounds pretty dangerous. I don't have the brown underpants on for nothing. <laughs> oh, stunt jump. Let's go in, see how it's going. <laughs> well, this is stunt headquarters, Tommy. Well, not all of it. I, that's my office over there. I share it with a plastics manufacturer. Tough times. Um, with stunts, in my opinion, you've got to plan everything to the nth degree. For me, that means scale models. Again, everything to the nth degree, so you can see exactly what you're going to do. You've got to dot your eyes and cross your T's in the stunt game. My assistant Mick's just building the scale model for this stunt in here. Mickey, how's it going? Uh, good. Where's the uh, model, mate? Uh, That's not the scale. N no, not exactly. Mick, it has to be the scale! Yeah, it also has to be a present for my nephew. Hang on a minute. <laughs> we'll go through it anyway. Here's the bike, here's the ramp. And here's Hulk Hogan. <laughs> you don't want to see a receipt from that toy shop. Okay, this is the ramp here. This is the high point of the motorcycle there. This is the low point of it. It's all mathematics, kids. That's why you stay at school. This height here is crucial to know. It determines the mass, top and bottom. This is the equidistant mass point, terminology. I have to know that to know how much power is on the way yeah. around. Look, I'm Mr. Squiggle. <laughs> Rob, I don't wish to be rude, but no. um, do you have any doubts about Mick as a stunt coordinator? No, no, none at all. No doubts. Not in this business. My life's in his hands. I have no doubts. It's just that he appears a little... Um... Incompetent? Yes. I can understand why you think that, but that's due to a medical condition. A medical condition? Oh, yeah. The doctor explained it to me. He said that Mick is uh, subnormal. Mm. Uh, the technical phrase is spasmo. Right. Well, <laughs> for example, does he ride motorcycles? Oh, no. No, Mick doesn't ride motorcycles. No, no, no. You need to train for that. Mick's not capable of riding motorcycles. <laughs> well, here we are at the famed stunt cycle gangway, scene of more attempts on the world record than anywhere else in the world. It's exciting. I'm going to be coming from down there. I'm hoping to land about here and break the world record. Which is? Uh, we've got it marked. <laughs> oh, dear. Scars down. He's all right now, my dad. He's, oh, cool. he's out of hospital. He's fine. Yeah. He actually made another attempt on it. Oh, dear me. Yeah. And uh, what's this, Rob? Oh, it's just Mick just farting around. <laughs> Rob, what is it about stuntmen and motorcycles? Stuntmen and motorcycles. Yeah, they're synonymous, aren't they? It's like, uh, it's like an artist and his paintbrush, really, isn't it? It's like um, Da Vinci and Mona Lisa. Van Gogh and his ear. The, the one he, he cut off. I don't know why I should hit you, Mick, but I think I should. Uh, Rubens and, and Fat Chicks. That's done it. <laughs> Language, Mick. We're role models for children. Go and organise the ramp. Organise the ramp. <laughs> Sorry about that, I'm sorry, I don't know where he learned to say chicks. Just on what we were saying before, stunt cycles, they're an extension of my body. I ain't got nothing backwards. I, uh, for fun, I pull them apart and put them back together. I can do it in my sleep. I um, did one last night. It didn't work out as well as... Uh, still at uh, one second prize in a sculpture contest. Tommy, I check everything before a stunt. Stunt cycles are not toys, kids. They are not to be... Shut up, Mick. They're not... Shut up, Mick! They're not to be played around with. I check everything, right down to the spark plug. I don't need a stunt cycle to misfire in the middle of the stunt. My life's at stake. Mick, don't press the pedal while I'm touching the spark plug. Sorry? I said the pedal, Mick! <laughs> oh, did you see that? It was like a, like a Roman fire candle. <laughs> Sorry? The what? The fire? What? The what? <laughs> so, Rob, can you run through the stunt for us again? Sure. What I'm going to be doing <laughs> is I'm going to... the fire extinguisher. Too late, Mick. You're fired! Why, huh? Rob, can you explain for us again the stunt? Sure. I'm going to get on the stunt site. I'm going to go down the gangway out there at 100 kilometres now. I'm going to hit the ramp. I'm going to fly through the air and break the world record. I'm going to get radical. And I'm going to do it blindfolded. Sounds dangerous. I'm sorry? I said it sounds dangerous. I, I can't hear you. Okay. That, that ear is deaf to the word dangerous. It doesn't it, register. It doesn't, not in my vocabulary. I went to see that film, Dangerous Liaisons. Yeah. When the titles came up, I only saw the word liaisons. The word dangerous wasn't there. I wouldn't have, ask me how to spell dangerous. Uh, spell dangerous. Uh, has it got a silent J? I don't know. Uh, let's get going. 
Mickey, you've got the ramp in place? Yes. Okay, and you set the bike up? Yes. <laughs> uh, I just thought in case that you went down the shops. Excuse me, me for a second. Stuff in... Where's the bike? Over here, Rob. Okay. Mick, am I in direct line with the ramp? Yeah! Stand back! Mick, that that way. And which way did I come from? All the wrong way. I'm wrong. Oh, see how he did that? He's still blindfolded. The guy's got a sixth sense. Two. That mustn't have been a fluke. Hold right there, Robbie. I'll chalk you.